This is visual step-by-step -step instructions on how to remove the voice prompt from a DF Player Pro. And before that, I will show you why you should consider doing this and the effects. Plus, for your added benefit, there is a complete instruction guide that includes this information and much, much more on model and layout audio animation that you can get free through a link below the video. The DF Player Pro is a fantastic product, but as it comes from the factory, it has little use in a model railroad scene and many dioramas. I'll show you why and how to fix it. Model is like animation, and hand in hand with that animation, automation. Because the factory player is designed for manual control, changes have to be made. Let me show you a before and after that you will learn to do in this video. This is the Player Pro connected to an Arduino Nano program to automatically play media on the player when the Arduino is powered up. I have loaded media, ringing warning bells that would be activated when a train enters a model level crossing. Watch in the link below. You can load other media, thunder, city sounds, etc. Links below also. In the first sequence, you see what happens if you use a player just as it comes from the factory. Note that when it is powered up, a voice says music. 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 And then nothing. For media to play, the play key must be pressed either manually or electronically. In the second sequence, the music voice prompt is missing and the bells start ringing immediately. So how do we make the change? To make the conversion, we're going to use the Arduino IDE on your computer and we'll have to connect the player to your computer. But your player is a UART, so you have to use a UART converter. This is the one that I use. Once we're connected, then we can use the IDE. Download and install the IDE on your computer. It's free. Once it's installed, open a new sketch. Now we have to connect the board to the IDE. Go to the top screen and we'll go ahead, we'll manage the boards. We go down and it's a matter of scrolling down and you'll see the selection for the DF uh, player products. You click on it. Okay, we now have our board selected. What we have to do now is open the serial monitor, but when I do this, you'll notice that it tells me I do not have the COM port selected. What I've got to do now is go back up to my tools and uh, choose the proper COM port. It was there, I never clicked on it. Once I get the COM port selected, I can go over to the right, I see my baud rate, and choose both NL and CR next to baud rate. Now we're ready to go. Now what we have to do is type in the message line uh, on the serial monitor, the letters AT in capital letters. So we get, when we get it properly done with AT in capital letters and hit enter, we get a prompt that says OK. Next, we're going to once again in capital letters, type in AT plus prompt equal 
off and then we hit enter and we will get another OK. The prompt is now removed. This is all covered in the free book you get down below and there are other links about audio automation so do take the time to go down there and look. Have a good day. Happy modeling.